Yeah, Dean, so yeah, Sun, six losses in a row now. There's been lots of talk about heads being held high. Is that the case this morning? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. We've, uh, we've taken the positive uh, aspects out of the game. Um, you know, we thought we really in around contested ball and, and a tackling effort was all there. It's just um, a lot of the outside polish at the moment. Uh, it's a little bit of... Um, you know, guys losing confidence, but um, just reinstalling that confidence and making them full aware that they're, they're capable of, of hitting you know, simple targets and uh, the targets we're missing at the moment are really hurting us on the scoreboard. Would you say that was your most consistent game in some weeks now? Uh, if it was, absolutely. Yes, no doubt about that. Um, but again, just some simple and basic errors um, are really hurting us uh, on the scoreboard. But uh, you know, our guys have got the appetite to, to work on that and um, to clean that up really quickly. Yeah, look, that, that'll help, but, um, you know, it's sort of a bit of a mentality. You know, we, we've got guys who are, who are capable of playing in there right now. It doesn't matter who's in there, and uh, they've got a role to play. And uh, at times on the weekend, in particular in the second quarter, in around second, uh, our centre bounces, um, they didn't play their role, and uh, and that's when the Crows got their role on. So uh, we just went through that, um, that quite thoroughly just then. But um, it's not really about personnel, it's more about structure. So players have been told today you need to lift your game and in particular around structure, yes, absolutely. So, uh, we, as I said, we couldn't question their effort, but um, adhering to certain parts of our game plan, which is the structure, uh, they need to lift their game in that area, yes. Gaz, he's looking like he might be available for West Coast? Yeah, yeah, which is it's good signs early this week so far. Um, you know, obviously, he's got to go through a process that the AFL put in place now, so that'll happen either today or tomorrow, I imagine. But, um, yeah, signs are all good at this stage. Um, we had Callum Archie and McPherson, Darcy and McPherson, both injured. They were the casual. Uh, I don't have any info at the moment. Um, you know, early days I heard Dars could be somewhere between four and six weeks. Um, and I think Cow will, will go through a test um, similar to Gaz uh, this week and hopefully he'll get up. Having an eight day break this week helps Cow, but um, uh, I'll know more later in the week. Stephen May, how much were you guys looking forward to having him back for the West Coast? Yeah, very much so. We, um, not only him as the player, but the, the leadership he brings and uh, the confidence that he can install in that back line. Uh, he brings a lot, so we're looking forward to getting Stephen back. Um, you know, he knows uh, his role and his responsibilities he brings, but uh, yeah, it's a, a bit of a lift for our players. He must be feeling pretty desperate, has he? Is he getting a bit... Yeah, he's getting a bit, a bit antsy, absolutely. He's, um, he's done a, a power of work, though, and that's the consequence of, uh, of his action, but uh, he's done a power of work and he's got himself in really good shape, so uh, he'll, he'll be selected, and, uh, you know, you look at the West Coast forwards, he's going to have a challenge straight up, so um, he's looking forward to that, but um, it's great to have him back. Yeah, potentially. Uh, he's got to get through training at the moment. Um, we thought he was going to be close last weekend, but uh, he got a little bit sore through training. So we, bigger picture uh, focus, we didn't want to press that. Um, he'll, he'll train tomorrow, but also again on Thursday. And, and from that, we'll make a decision whether it's uh, NEFL or, or AFL. But um, it's looking like he'll be available. Dan Curry had a really good game in the ruck and it seems like he could become a real vital cog in the midfield. Yeah, he's absolutely um, putting his hand up. He's obviously come up here on a bit of a mission, looking to... Uh, grab hold of the, you know, the, the number one ruck roll and at the moment he's, he's, he's doing a lot of things right. Um, he's gone up against um, some of the best ruckmen in the competition in the games he's played. I mean, Gorn, Goldstein and, and Jacobs on the weekend. So he's done okay. He's held his, held his um, head high. Uh, we think he's got another level in him. Um, you know, we're working really hard on that. Um, uh, but so far, so good. But uh, there's still a little bit of improvement in his game. Jesse Long again seemed to take another step forward, nine centre clearances on the weekend. Yeah, that's, and that's a really good point. He had nine clearances and I, th I think he had like 16 contested possessions as well. So, um, you know, with a couple of uh, the guys that have been missing in that area, he's taking his chance um, and he, he's putting his hand up and he's leading that midfield. So, along with him, um, Dion Prestia, they're probably the two at the moment who have probably been our best mids.